Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We are on the far side server today. So today we're going to be building this thing again. It's in my gold farm. The first design sucked. The second design, I don't know. You you guys tell me. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing, but I just went with a different method and I think I got to redesign it again, but there is some fun that happens with taking this thing apart, which uh you guys will enjoy so make sure you watch this video and let's just say boom so anyways guys let's get on to the episode so guys do you know what you notice <laughs> you guys notice anything different anything Bueller any dude look at this look at you see that there's redstone underneath those blocks now and they activate when you jump on the slime I thought that was so cool when I noticed that they activate or at least sometimes Um, that one activated. Come on. Come on, activate. Um, okay, maybe, is that one just always active? Maybe. Maybe that's what you gotta do. Maybe you gotta, do, does it like keep them if you, if it's doing it before you put the slime block down, maybe it stays? Does it put it like in a state of no Put back in no that one looks like it stopped didn't it yeah that one stopped well then what the heck I thought I had something there dang it anyways guys we're just sitting around here and uh, we got some little bit of housework stuff sort of stuff to do um, which is we've been cooking up some fish um, I want to what's up what's up smart pants uh, we got, you know what, Tortimer told me that he had a surprise here for me. Uh oh, I want some ender pearls. He said, I have a surprise for you. I got, I put something at your base. And I haven't gone around and found it yet. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can find this and accomplish this together. So that's redstone that I brought back with me. Um, we gotta put that right in there. Ooh, look at just add to that, add to that collection. So let's go see if we can find it. I kind of have a feeling that it's a sheep. That he got this sheep down here. That's my feeling. Because I put a cow in his shop. And I have a feeling that that's what his surprise is. Is present. Is the sheep. That's just my feeling and thought. Which I could be wrong, but that's my feeling. Oh my gosh! Yes! Look at Tortimer, man. He is a boss. A boss, man. Thank you, Tortimer. This was a surprise. He brought me my villagers back over. He brought a vill- He told me- Oh, yes! 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 Um, he told me that he had a villager for me. You know what, Tortimer? I'm gonna just do one more thing. Um. Oh, I have a whole nother stack. I'm gonna put that right there. I don't know if baby zombie pigmen get excited and will crawl under that or not or what it will do, but just in case. Um, that is awesome, Tort. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now these guys can breed and I can get that iron golem farm that's been sitting up there unused forever. Awesome, dude. That is, oh, dude, I, dude, you are awesome. So, it's been a while since I've shown you guys this. Um, I do have this, uh, fisher automated fisher over here right and I used I got lucky and I caught a while back I caught a uh, a couple fish one was an un, one was a lure three unbreaking three and another one was a unbreaking three uh, luck of the sea three and so I combined them and got a luck of the sea uh, luck of the sea three lure three uh, fishing rod and so I afk'd with that one night and then I got a whole bunch of other rods that were good I got all these off of I I did it once where I did it for a couple hours and I came back and my my this this sort of fishing rod was almost broken so I was able to repair it actually and then I did it overnight one night and it actually did break but when I came back after all that I had all these fishing rods in here uh and so I combined several of them so I have three are four, um, four lure three, unbreaking three, luck of the three, luck of the three, luck of the sea three 
fishing rods. So I have four of them all together. And so, we're, you know, we're just going to drop these off of there. I don't know if it's going to come in order like that, but just in case if it does. And then these ones are just whatever. They're extra enchanted. So that's nice, but they don't, they're do not they not like great, great. So we'll put those at the front just in case. Um, I've, been, I've been using this as my main food source, as you guys know. And... Also name tags. I've gotten a lot of name tag, good amount of name tags, which I think I have to repay Tort back because he helped fund, refund my shop at spawn. Got a lot of puffer fish, which I know I owe at least a stack of this to, uh, at least a stack of it to, we'll take it to a stack and a little bit more, to Zangief for his extra iron payments that I know he gave me a while ago, and I have a bunch of saddles too. But that's been my main source of food. One thing that is weird is all hell, and I don't know why this keeps happening i sure as heck do not know why this keeps happening but uh my witch farm is glitching out again and i don't know why but this is what keeps happening there's supposed to be a piston under here where there's and under the, I, I don't understand what's happening this isn't the first time this has happened to me either this is like the third time, second or third time that these things have disappeared from me. It's not all of them, but it's a majority of them. Maybe all of them on this side. Looks like, yeah, all of them on this side. It is so bizarre as to why that is happening. I don't understand. So I got to get pistons. That's why I have all this cobble and this wood and this glowstone or this redstone on me. because... I'm going to go back to spawn and see if I got any iron yet for my glowstone shop and see if there's any sitting in the uh, horse shop too. So we're going to go check those things out and then uh, we'll, 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 we'll get back to fixing this witch farm so we can have it working. So let's go ahead and make this drop off to Zangief right here going through the back back alley. Going through this back alleyway. That's my, that's my normal path getting around spawn. Instead of going all the way in. Oh, cake. Oh, good thing I'm out. Okay, so Zangief. Ooh, Zangief's getting some iron. What's he, what is he selling? What are people actually buying from him? I don't know. Maybe the clownfish? I don't know. I don't think I own many puffer fish or clownfish, but I do own clownfish. So Zangief, here you go. I think, I think we're pretty close to even there. Um, 64 plus 50. So I gave you another 80 88 or 80 something a 21 so 85 i gave you another 85 i think we're pretty close to even there uh if i still owe you some if you want me to finish off that stack i'm more than happy to um so let's do this let's see how much we had nothing at the pony shop at the uh saddle let's see how the ooh, good throw let's see how this guy did Ooh, that thing was full that means we need to come back and restock it show it's full Hey, oh, 20 blocks of diamonds, or 20 blocks of iron. That is perfect. I was hoping for, I guess, not that many. I just needed enough to make 64 um, pistons, which would have been like four or five blocks, which, that's awesome. Let's make these pistons then. Uh, so, yeah, I need to make, I, I just felt, I just figured might as well make a lot of them. Um, ooh, nice. Make a lot of them so we have them, and that they're there. Yeah, man, look at that. I just love it. Oh, it's going to be so good having this many pistons. Uh, wrong spot, redstone. Nope, you were right spot. There you go, 64 pistons. Now, what I'm going to do with this 64 pistons... <laughs> yeah, that's another story. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. No, I'm just joking. I'm going to go back there, replace those. And then um, I got some ideas on working on that gold farm this episode. Because that gold farm is a complete disaster and does not work worth crap. That's why you haven't seen any more progress on that gold farm. Is because that gold farm just hasn't been working out at all. Let's, uh... No, we can get up here. Yeah. Pro, pro skills right here. Ready? Um... Pro skill... Oh, look at that! Pro throwing skills. Oh, yeah. So if we go over here... This, it just doesn't work. I think I'm going to have to tear mostly all of it down, you know, except for, except for the fault drop part, obviously. But I think I'm going to have to go up there and tear mostly all of it down. And, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, I don't think, 
you know, I, I'm not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the whole idea behind, uh, the string and the whatnot. And I'm going to go to the push piston, uh, the pressure plate push piston where they spawn on the pressure plate, activates it and pushes them out. So we're going to, uh, tear this thing down. Look at this torque guy, man. He's just, he's killing it on me. All right. So I need four. I need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's eight stack, eight iron, and eight iron plus eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Tort, you got thirteen iron sitting here. Thirteen. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. There's thirteen. There you go. Look at his light turn on. Look at his light turn on. So guys, I uh, I took down the pistons that were in that farm because I was sitting there going through mining it all out and I was like no way am I going to sit here and do this all because it is just taking no -uh. so I decided we're going to have a little fun with it and I will uh show you guys what that is oh whoo man <laughs> wow I wish every time I threw an under pearl I got that much TNT <laughs> man look at okay so if you guys don't realize what is going on here we are going to be having... Oh, jeez. I didn't throw that at any angle, did I? What's up, Ender Pearl? <laughs> Gosh, they... Glitching on the block. What's up, Ender Pearl? So, we are going to... Like I said, I just didn't want to sit here and mine this all up. So, I decided... You know what? Let's uh, let's TNT it up a little bit. So, that's exactly what I'm going to go do. And I don't have the blocks to do it, though. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You do. You do, they're right there in front of you. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to get this set up a little bit, and I will... <laughs> yeah. Because I think I want to do some rebuilding on this episode. I think. I think. Um, so we might as well... This, so this is what I'm going to do. This is where the pistons were, right? We're in these slots. So I am literally going to fill this entire thing up with TNT at all the places that the pistons were. So I got more than enough TNT for that. So just go TNT, TNT, and TNT. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Woo, <laughs> that could have been bad. All right, let's see if we can enter Pearl right there is where I want to go. Really? Come on. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we're right back down here. Uh, TNTs. TNTs all the way. TNTs for everybody. TNTs for everybody. I asked Wumbo to join me because everyone that watches Wumbo knows that he is a TNT fanatic. But he is busy right now. So we are just doing it ourselves. So I will get this thing fully TNT'd up and... Then we'll see what I decide to do with it. I don't really know how I'm going to execute my plan. But I guess we'll see, right? Uh, see you guys in a bit! Alright, so I have a stack and a little bit more left. And I thought that maybe a good idea would be just to go down here. And as I go down, just kind of throw some TNT in these empty... You know, in these empty spots, maybe... Just places I see fit, like, as I come down, you know. There goes one. And I can just kind of go down this little pathway, because there's the, uh, there's the, whatchamacallit. We got this right here. I think I'm, ooh, 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 that scared me. I'm going to for sure put them everywhere right there. Um, just because it's, like I said, just good, I can. <laughs> I don't know. There's no real reason other than I can. Um, cause I have the extra TNT. I just want to, I just want to try to get as much of this on one blow as I can on one try. We want to blow this thing to smithereens and I need to kind of, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to, I want to like make a cascading thing coming down so that when I come at, I'm going to light it from the bottom and then hopefully I can get a lot of it to just light, kind of go off and light as I, as it goes off. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be intense. Okay, so that's... That's that. We got that. That. 
kind of that, that. Uh, let's just <laughs> put a line right there. Put one right there. Um, you know what? You can't go there. You can't go there. Hey! Look at that! As we're destroying it, some zombie pigmen finally decide to spawn. I think the whole time that I... Ooh. I think the whole time I've had this thing, I've had two, two actually go down and fall and spawn. And now a couple more want to decide to come. Right, right as I'm getting rid of this thing. Oh, whatever. They're, they're lost. They're lost. They, they don't, I mean, I guess they're gain, really. They get to get killed with, by the cool, the cool way of dying. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's put you there. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's take care of you guys. Let's take care of you. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya. Neither would I want to be any of your siblings right now. Uh, no, I don't want you getting destroyed because I still want you to stay. But you know what? You're probably gonna end up getting destroyed. Um, yeah, I don't want. I don't. Yeah, no, I don't want you getting destroyed. So let's. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Let's. Uh, let's light. No. There we go. Light and hope for the best. There we go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Woohoo! Woo! Oh, that worked great! That worked just fantastic! Look at that! Took out a little bit more than I wanted to. <laughs> but, uh, overall, that was great. Left mainly- took everything- mainly everything out, just like I wanted. Just like I wanted. So now this is gonna be, uh, not an easy replacement, but it's gonna go much quicker than it would have going the other way. Man, that was awesome. Man, it took, on, it took a lot more out than I wanted to, actually. Jeez. Jesus. Jeez. Man, I put those I put those often, didn't I? Whoa! A couple pieces fell. A couple pieces. One piece. One piece. So we're going to uh, sit here and repair these little damages that I had done. And uh, we'll get, we're going to try to build some of this today. So see you guys in a little bit. So I thought I'd show you guys a quick demonstration of the layer I'm building here so this is what it goes goes through is I have a layer with the with the pressure plates right here and then those go into a red uh, repeater go into a block which powers this piston now when I get on top for the next level that's what I'll show you I get on top I put it right on top because that's two spots for them to spawn I'm hoping otherwise we're gonna have some more TNT on our hands and then I cover those up with half slab so nothing can spawn on there and then I put regular blocks on top like so. Put a put pistons on top like so. And then what I've been doing is I've been using my stone half slabs because I've had a I had a lot of them left over. That I would just I'm just using those to uh, push the pigment off. And then I'm laying repeaters all the way across. And then one two one 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 putting them all to one tick just because. In case if the instant tick, uh, for some reason, legs the server, I don't want to be causing leg anywhere, so I'm just putting putting them on two ticks to make sure that it gives a little bit of time to uh, to process that the pigment has spawned and not to just boom boom right away. So same thing over on this side there, with repeaters all the way across. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna have enough repeaters. That's why I want to show you guys this, which I'm not going to. So there we go with one one one. One, 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 and one. And then we go ahead and we've been, this is how we've been connecting these. We've been going like this, just so it looks kind of nice. And then I've been going on this half, uh, I've been going on this, how have I been doing this? I can't, I always get to this point and I'm like, huh, how have I been doing this? Okay, so this for sure gets half slabbed. Then I've been having... this just come across like so I think I think that's how I've been doing it I like I said I have every time I've done it I've been like uh how do I do this again so those are all half slabbed these are not so then we just go ahead and we lay the pressure plates down so then they'll spawn on the pressure plates they'll get pushed off right away and we don't want that to three we want that to two got pushed off right away and be 
be ours. Um, so same thing over here. I've been putting half slabs, prevent spawning, and then here too, so that they just don't get pushed off or run off or whatnot. So put that there, put that there, and then we got this here with ladders coming up. Now since this is a top layer, we're gonna half slab. We're gonna half slab everything up here it's just so that nothing spawns up here because we got nothing else, I guess, you know? Because we got, because we want to get spawns on the spawn pads where they can go. Uh, so this obviously isn't going to be that efficient right now either because we don't have the materials. We don't have that many spawning spaces. But, uh, and I haven't heard any as of right now. I think I'm too close. So I figured let's try to go up, see how high we can go with what well, with the materials we have I don't know how these things blow up up here so we'll you know if nothing else we can stack up and then we'll just grab more ladders in the future yep that's what it looks like we're gonna have to do so I'll stack up and AFK for a little bit and see if we get any spawns all right guys so we got a couple things um, hmm. Okay, yeah. I was like, where are my ladders? But I forgot. I had to... Uh, first, whatever. So, a couple things to explain to you real quick, in case you don't know. So, we have to be 20... I think it was 24 blocks away, if I remember correctly, for these things to be able to spawn. Which, which means that from this top layer, I went up at least 24 blocks. Now, if we're out of, out of range by 128 blocks, everything automatically despawns. So, that's going all the way up there from the top of the bedrock so anything below the bedrock won't spawn now the only problem with that though too is there's a pretty well one in 800 chance every game tick so one in every 20th one out of every 20 20th of a second or something like that i think anything outside of 32 blocks or 60 something blocks maybe it is has a chance of despawning and Dang it. We got one. But that could mean a couple things. Um, come here. That could mean a couple things, though. One, it could mean that they despawn. Um, two, means they despawned. I, I don't know. I That's the only thing I can think of, is that they despawn when I am up so high that you know hmm I wonder if it would work better if I go up here and and just sit a little less high up not obviously right here but going up just like 24 which would be like 225 so I, I AFK'd there for about 15 minutes, and so that's why that is not very feel good. Because when I was right here, actually I was, I was right here around 225, 230, somewhere in here, and I did actually, I was just sitting here watching at one point, and I saw a zombie pigman actually, actually fall. So, let's see, come on. The only thing is, you know, we could... Real quick, just disconnect. Hopefully everything despawns. Maybe not in the nether. You know, one of those weird things. Huh. That ain't working. So. You know, maybe there's just not enough spawn pads, you know. Because this is a fairly small. It's what, 8, 9, 9 long. So 18 times 4 right now. 6, 70 something spawn pads. Which isn't that great. But, uh, you know, we'll definitely get this improved. And I, this will be the design I go with, so we'll just have to expand on this if we want to keep going with this. But we're going to go with this this one. So, you guys, like always, my name's... Ooh, that's weird. My name's Cluster. Like always, thank you for watching Dream Big.